Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. The Phoenicians. Their full history lasts from about 1500 to 65 BCE. And they're also known as Canaanites. Now they were excellent sailors and they traveled the sea to trade. Phoenicians controlled trade throughout much of the Mediterranean from about 1100 to 800 C BCE, and that's considered to be their golden age. They used the stars to navigate at night. Their major cities, well, include Tyre and Zidane. Now, their major resources were snails and wood. The snails created a purple extract, which allowed them to dye clothing. And it becomes so popular that kings pay lots of money to get it. And it becomes something that we still talk about today, royal purple. And this is where it comes from, thanks to the Phoenicians. Please make a note that royal purple is because it was one of the first colors to be dyed. And they also made cedar wood, got cedar wood. They had a lot of cedar forests. Cedar is really good in water, and it allowed them to trade all over the Mediterranean. Their ships were might be the first ones that potentially could have made it all the way to the Americas. We're still looking for evidence, but it's thought that they were at least the first ones to navigate themselves around the, the Horn of Africa. We know this for sure. But their resources besides this are limited, and thus they needed to trade a lot. As we'll study later, they helped the Persians during the Greek and Persian Wars. And they helped the landlocked Persians, who didn't have a very strong navy, in exchange for keeping their independence from the Greeks. Now, one of the ways they kept control of the sea for so long was they spread rumors of monsters on the sea. And they wanted to keep control of it to themselves. Do you happen to have an older sibling that you have heard a rumor about things to keep you from doing something that they like to do? Or have you done this to a younger sibling? They had huge bazaars, which are marketplaces that sold lots of exotic items. And they would go to these different trading posts all over the world. They set up Carthage, which is one of the big empires that rule around the time of the Romans. They go to Egypt, Greece, Rome, all over. And to keep up their thriving business, they created a writing system with 22 symbols. It is this system of writing that eventually becomes the foundations of English although first it's taken by the Greeks. And the writing system, as I said, was used in many languages, including English. Please make a note that the Greeks took it from them. Now, eventually they're conquered by the Persians in 539 BC, and later by Alexander the Great in 332 BCE. They become part of the Roman Empire in 65 BCE. Please take a moment and highlight Canaanites, excellent sailors, controlled trade, 1100 to 800 BCE, stars to navigate, Tyre and Zidane, 
snails and wood, spread rumors of monsters, huge bazaars, writing system, 22 symbols, and please add in that today most of Phoenicia is in present-day Lebanon. Lebanon. Thank you for listening. The end.